Hello Gossipon collectors and people that like Super Deformed Votoms, that would be me. So I got these things here locally and uh, I think they're made by Bandai after doing some internet searches for uh, Gossipons. This photo came up and these are three of these are these it seems. So let's just take a look because I do have this piece of paper and yes it does say Bandai. So it says SD Votoms full color. Alright, label these. I don't know, it says ST1. Does that mean it came out in 2001? Maybe. I don't see, is there another date here? If you see another date, let me know. I can't read all that right now. Hmm, this also says the next stage. It does say 2001, Never mind. So there we go. So these are pretty old, wow. And <laughs> they're really hard to actually see the toys they're promoting because they have all these weird action shots done in Photoshop. Well, luckily I brought up this image here, so we got those other three that we're not going to discuss. Same piece of paper here. Let me just cut these up. I assume these must be new. I assume they probably came in plastic capsules, because the Gashapons are sold in these little plastic capsules like gumball machines. There's a piece that fell off of that one. So be mindful of that. Seems to be more than one piece, or maybe it was not glued properly. Alright, this first one is called a scope dog. And yeah, it's got a little peg here for the arm. So it actually has some articulation. That was that's not expected. It's actually got a hand splayed out. And you actually have the five fingers, so that's pretty cool. So B for is probably for Bandai and it's actually made in China. So Bandai China. What's interesting is they bothered to put in these little bolt details on this side of the wheel, but not on that side. Strange. Alright. Does this arm move? This arm looks like it's molded in. Let me get a better light angle here. So this all looks like one piece here, all that, but the feet look like they are separate pieces. Yeah, there's a peg going on there. Hold on, let me hit focus. Yeah, so... You can actually rotate the feet around a little bit, but it does collide. It's supposed to be there. But yeah, I guess you can move it a little bit. Same with the other side. Now, I also think this arm, I think the shoulder here is a separate piece as well. Yeah, I think there's a peg there. It's just that the paint is stuck or... But there it goes. Yeah, so nice. You actually have some, you know paint here on this gun that's separate from the arm and the, it actually has good details for something this small. It's hard to see, you know, in the packaging how detailed these were when I bought these things. Alright, this head has to be a separate piece because it's definitely a seam. Yep, pretty big peg. Alright, so you can get a little posing there. And whoa, I wonder if this is, well, yeah, maybe that's a peg too. Hold on, the optics. I'm going to wiggle it to break the paint. I don't want to rip the the whole final post here. Alright, so you can actually rotate the optics inside of this thing too. So, and then the optics have the standard red and green and just a physical iron sight, I guess. It doesn't slide back and forth though. Alright, so <laughs> it's quite amazing. This actually has more articulation than I thought it was going to have. So it's pretty cool. It's so small. Uh, I gotta get the ruler out. Hold on here. With the antenna is four centimeters or around one and a half inches. But without the antenna, I would say it's around 25 millimeters or 2.5 centimeters and around one inch tall. So that's pretty crazy. As obviously you can see with my hand, it is a really small toy. But it's got, you know, Green, to the, there's like six different paint colors on this little guy. So that's pretty neat. Alright, so that's cool. And then uh, his ally is called Bear Serga. And uh, yeah, you can definitely see this is painted a little bit crude. But I have to imagine these are really cheap when they're new. I bet they're less than a dollar. But correct me if I'm wrong, if anyone actually bought these back in 2001, how much did these things cost out of those vending machines? Alright, so this arm obviously fell off, but that gives you good uh, articulation there. And the feet, torso, again, I think the paint is stuck. But I suspect the torso will spin. 
the head has managed to work loose. This arm though is totally the same as the torso that you don't want to mess with. But this shield thing as well seems to be a separate piece. I don't want to mess tear at it so much. Just gonna wiggle it, loosen the paint. Or just leave it alone. So interesting that this guy's like sitting down. Or no, no, I'm sorry. The, those is, these are at the bottom of the feet, and it is weird there's a Bandai China on the bottom of this. But this one has these like plates that are, uh, can fold up in front of the legs. So this is the thigh, this is the foot, and this is the plate shielding it. I'll show you in a second when I show what the uh, regular looking Takara Tomi was. A really huge peg there. But the arm collides with the foot, so you're kind of limited. You can only rotate this way, really. Maybe that much in that direction. All right. Well, not much color on this one. It's just this blue and yellow. And then the, the visor, though, it's got this off-white and uh, green-red and the horn antenna thing. I think that could be a separate piece as well. Yeah, it is, but... And it's bent. If you dip in some hot water and just hold it in place, it'll cool cool down in the proper proper way you want it to. All right, so let's paint on that one. But it's interesting still, around the same height. It's a little bit taller in the head. Okay, and then the last one is called a Strike Dog. And this is an enemy character. These two are friends. This is the enemy. It's got like this claw here and the gun inside the hand. And then the optics green and red. And then uh, for the figure itself, yeah, this head comes off eventually. Alright. I like that they have these giant pegs, so there's less chance of you ripping it off or, you know, tearing it. Oh, I see. There's a B and an S here for the copyright on the body. Yeah, this arm is also a separate piece, and then, the, again, the bottom half is a separate piece, but... Oh, this is nice. There's a little bit of a chevron printed there. Uh, that could use some silver paint there. And then this arm... Well, I think it'll twist at the shoulder, but the, the rest of the arm doesn't move. And this one... Ah, I see the forearm, the claw, is a separate piece. Yeah. Pretty nice deep peg, too. Less chance of it falling out, so yeah, you can get some posing there. Cool. All right. So that's it. Those three guys. All right. So just based on this gun, this must be the marshy dog. And in this photo, this is the normal rifle. So that must be the scope dog. This pink one is called brutish dog, and that's a standing tortoise, or maybe it's a snapping turtle. So I got to try to get those three at some point in time. But you know, these things are 20 years old, so. It might never happen. Let's uh, take a look at a couple other deformed things. Uh, this, these are also by Bandai Gundams. This Gundam is a life, uh, intellectual property of Bandai. That's called a camphor robot. This is a high gog robot. Uh, and then this is, I think, called a gelug. So these, I believe, are all, yeah, it says B China on the bottom. This gel looks really small, though, compared to the other two. So it's interesting that the Votoms are actually bigger, because Votoms are like walking tanks, whereas Gundams are giant, like 30, 20 meter tall robots, like they're multiple stories tall. Alright, some other ones. This is a Transformer of Megatron. Although I don't know who made it. You know, I bought this one loose. It is copyright. I don't know what the... Transformers 03, maybe this is from 2003, but what does that last C mean? Oh, this actually has a Decepticon thing printed on it. I never noticed that. It's so old, like it's got this weird white residue, or maybe the previous owner painted it, I don't, I don't know. So I can't tell you who made that, but it's awesome, and I wish I could find some more Transformers like that. This is a 3D printed one, it's finished, it's made by Resinworks. 
and this is the Honda Osimo robot. Here's a Bandai Gashapon or figure of the original Iron Man Mark I. So this is a Wally. You know, I, I don't know if Bandai made this. It says GM oh, for Mattel. Oh, this is actually made by Mattel. Interesting. And then Toy Story, we got Zerg. And that was an awesome scene from that first movie. And that says Disney, so Disney Pixar. I don't know if who made it though. And then to go along with it, we got the uh, good old uh, boy. What's this guy's Buzz Lightyear? All right, so robots, robot suits, all really small. I guess these two probably aren't considered deformed. I guess they'd still be Gashapons because they're really small, but I don't know. I buy these things so I can, well, I just like super deformed stuff, and they're really small so I can just throw them in a box and have a bunch of them. And every now and then I pull them up, pull them up for my Choro Q reviews. So never thought I'd be collecting these if you asked me this a year ago. Never thought I'd be collecting Votom stuff, but I did watch the first TV series and I liked it. It was cool. I almost forgot to show the actual normal looking Votoms. So all three of these are made by Takara and uh, they're part of the Actic Gear line. A-C-T-I-C -C Gear, if you want to search them out. They're all 148 scale and they are probably the most accurate or not accurate, they're the most detailed figures I've ever seen for their size. Like Bandai Gundam robots are very accurately detailed and jam-packed with stuff, but both, uh, Gundam robots are huge robots. These are like walking tanks, so like a human being is that big inside of it, right? But physically, toy-wise, they're only like four inches tall and they can fully pose and articulate and convert down to like a crouch down mode. They're just amazingly uh, well well made. I bet they're made by Bandai actually. But anyways, so you can see the clear deformation of these little gashapas. It's just insane that they would just shrink it down to something so short. I mean these are amazingly small, these things, but these are really really getting out there. Alright, well we'll see you in the next uh, Votons video.